everybody a welcome in. Uh, let's get into this update on a Nicola Aboli. And I am not sure that I will ever understand her final moments. How does a 45-year-old woman fall into a 13-foot deep a river and drown? And why was Willow at the bench? Why wouldn't Willow follow her into the river if she fell in? And how come nobody heard her? Why am I not accepting this? And with that, uh, let's get into it. <laughs> A recap real quick and go back to January 27th, 2023. Anika Laboli dropped her children off at school at the 8 of 40 a.m. mark as she left headed to the park at 8 43 a.m. We know that she texted a friend, she emailed her boss, she started the conference call at 9.01 a.m. and at 8 of 50 a.m. 9 of 10 a.m. she was seen by passerbys. The phone was seen on the bench. The meeting disconnected at around 9.30. She remained logged in until her phone was found at 9.33. And then she is found on the river bank a mile from where her phone was found on the bench. And nobody saw her. The up and down on the river and nobody saw her. Why does this absolutely make zero sense? Nicola was identified using her dental records. The opening of an inquest into her death has heard. Preston Coroner's Court was told Surgeon Andrew Ian Edwards had examined the 45-year-old's dental records, which had been obtained by police from her dental surgery. The hearing, which lasted about five minutes, was not attended by Miss Bowley's partner, Paul Anso, or any other family. And I'm going to say to the statement by the family, which we are going to listen to, just too much. I still don't see anything with Paul being compassionate. Maybe he's just not a compassionate person. Speaking at the opening of the inquest, into Nicola, the mother of two's death, senior coroner Dr. James Adderley said he examined the body that was located in the river wire near Rockcliffe Road in St. Michael's on wire at 2.15 p.m. on February 20th. 2023. I am satisfied on the balance of uh, probabilities and more that positive identification has been made. He said remaining evidence gathered by police and most a post-mortem examination required further evaluation and a full inquest was likely to be held in June. Once availability of the home office a pathologist had been checked, he goes on to say, this will allow time to collate the facts of the case and allow the experts involved to finalize the findings from investigations that still need to be undertaken. In a press on Monday, a Lancashire police described the investigation into her disappearance as hugely complex and highly emotional. Police also did not disclose why it took 23 days to find her body in the river. And let's not forget, it was on the bank a mile down from the bench. Ms. Boyle's family said in a statement on Monday that they can let her rest following uh, the discovery of her mains. Let's go listen to this press conference and the statement that was read uh, by Paul Ansel. We read a statement on their behalf. I'll now hand over to Detective Chief Superintendent Pauline Stables to do that. Nicola's family have asked that we release the following statement on their behalf as follows. Our family liaison officers have had to confirm our worst fears today. We will never be able to comprehend what Nikki had gone through in her last moments, and that will never leave us. We will never forget Nikki. How could we? She was the centre of our world. 
she was the one who made our lives so special and nothing will cast a shadow over that. Our girls will get the support they need from the people who love them the most. And it saddens us to think that one day we will have to explain to them that the press and members of the public accuse their dad of wrongdoing, misquoted and vilified friends and family. This is absolutely appalling. They have to be held accountable. This cannot happen to another family. We tried last night to take in what we have been told in the day, only to have Sky News and ITV making contact with us directly when we expressly asked for privacy. They again have taken it upon themselves to run stories about us to sell papers and increase their own profits. It is shameful they have acted in this way. Leave us alone now. Do the press and other media channels and so-called professionals not know when to stop? These are our lives and our children's lives. To those who genuinely helped and supported us privately, we thank you. The community support in St Michael's, friends, neighbours and strangers has been nothing short of comforting and heartwarming. Friends, you know who you are, thank you. Our hearts truly break for others who have missing loved ones. Keep that hope alive. Finally, Nikki, you are no longer a missing person. You have been found. We can let you rest now. We love you, always have and always will. We will take it. Uh, tell me what you think of that, a press conference and a Paul's words. I'm still waiting for the compassion. Something is just, it's almost as bizarre to me as the uh, Christine Powell case. The police watchdog has launched an investigation into a welfare check on Nico Boley carried out by the Lancashire Police on January 10th, 2023, days before she was last seen in IOPC spokesperson said a following a referral by Lancashire Constabulary on a Thursday of February 16th of 2023 we have started an independent investigation regarding a contact of force had with Nicola Bully on January 10th of 2023 we were notified by the force that an officer attended the family home on that date as part of a welfare check it came as Lancashire's Police and Crime Commissioner announced a full independent review of the entire case. Andrew Snowden said the public had questions about the handling of elements of the investigation. I have therefore taken the decision to commission a full independent review into the handling of this case would clearly define terms of reference to ensure lessons can be learned, not just for Lancashire, but for all the forces. At the end of the day, this, um, this to me sounds like they are covering up because of the uh, scrutiny they went under, uh, labeling it a sexist when they revealed uh, that Nicola was regarded high risk with issues of alcohol and menopause. Not the fact that she somehow fell in a little river and it died and was not found for 23 days and make that make sense let's go on one quick road trip and see a mile down this river and where nicola was found do an inquest into her death not into the fact that they disclosed that information because something is just and not adding up in my opinion uh, let's go back uh, for uh, one minute with something that Peter Falding uh, said recently. His words were used by thousands of people across social media to criticize the police's approach and to justify outlandish conspiracy theories, often blaming uh, Paul Ansel uh, for her disappearance. One sentence was repeated almost like a line of gospel by those speculating on the case. 
Peter Falding said she's not in the river. Yet, a 24 days after Nicola first went missing, and let's not forget, people were out there within an hour after her phone was found searching for her. Her body was found by members of the public in some reeds nearly a mile down river from where she was last seen. Peter Falding says, quote, she wasn't in the river she was in the reeds there's a big difference between under the boat in the water and up on the bank in the reeds he said he felt his original words had been twisted by the media and that the criticism on social media was coming from a lot of professional jealousy now let's go on a road trip and see We cannot forget that how she was not seen for about a 22 minutes from the time that she was seen last time walking her dog in the upper field at 9:10. The bench, here's the old mansion. The bench is right here. See that little bench? If she falls in the river here and she goes down Rockcliffe Road, and they say she was found down about a mile and with the twist and the turns it honestly is going to be hard to get that mile but let's just say it's down in the area over here but where they are parked you can actually see the cars against the river I mean there's the fence we've got a couple little sheep out here and they are saying that she was found in the reed right why do they keep saying they pulled a body out of the river? And Peter Falding is saying that she was found up here. How? I just don't understand how nobody saw her. The dogs, helicopters, drones. How do you miss her and you were there that soon? 13 feet of water. Make it make sense because it makes absolutely zero sense to me. What really happened that day? Why was her phone on the bench? Why was Willow not barking where she was? If she fell in the river, why didn't she scream? How come nobody saw her? And all of that time later, I just, I can't comprehend what happened that day. And it could have been this area too because here's another fence line. But I don't see the telephone poles here. Up oh, there they are. All right, guys, uh, please uh, drop your thoughts below. And uh, with that, it is a wrap. Everyone, thank you for coming in. Uh, please make sure you click that like, uh, the subscribe, and the bell for notifications so you do not miss the next time we drop a video or go live. Everybody, have a good day or a good night wherever you are in the world. And stay vigilant. I am out.